So last week I showed you this. A piston feed tape that has its corners intact. And the reason I built this is so I could have eight different channels that could only had one on at a time and they rotated. This is slightly different. This is a observer instead of a note block, but that still works. All right, so here is a clock face with eight different arm states. They don't really rotate, but by pulling these eight different levers, I can make an illusion of rotation. For, so for these, the bottoms and the top ones, it's pretty easy. You can just power or depower them. But for these middle pistons, I need to do something a little bit more involved. Either this or this to toggle just the middle block. And that works pretty nicely. This That's not exactly what happens. What happens is this gets powered for two ticks. This gets powered for like four ticks. So this doesn't pop off the block. It keeps it. And that will keep these yellow blocks extruded without these orange or lime blocks extruded. Same thing happens over here, except instead of using this orange block as the temporary extended piston, I use the light blue block. All right, so here's that piston feed tape connected to a bunch of honey and slime towers with redstone blocks in the end. I wanted them to do this, but turns out when this slime extends, it would carry this around and then try to push it back down and stuff like that, so that didn't work. So these all had to be on the edge, but it's fine. Basically got a tower of eight different states. So take the clock face and that, multiply it by four, and now we have a very compact four-sided clock. What it takes is these power these pistons they push these towers up, and depending on which tower is pushed up, it'll power a different line. And it's not just lines, I used a lot of different techniques to get these across. Got a little crazy on the top to fit everything in. There's probably better ways of doing this, but I got it to work, and it's not too much delay between them. They're decently synchronized. Here is that same circuit, but just with all the same color of concrete. This middle block, just there's no piston behind here, it's just always extended. Nice space around it to really get across the circular idea. To get it to go automatically, here's just a hopper clock and an observer for when it switches position. Um, you could probably do like a Minecraft day or a real life day, especially if you chunk load this area or do something or it synchronizes with the daylight sensor, but this just for demonstration goes pretty fast. I wouldn't go too fast, like I didn't test this for very rapid updates. It's a hour hand on a clock. I also made sure, well at least for this part it was easy, but made some weird decisions with the slime at the top just so that something you might want to put on a tower is a beacon. Uh, there's also, if you want to build like walkways around it, there's a little bit of room around here unless you make the whole thing really tight and circular uh, when try building walkways through this. Maybe if you wanted to redesign all these wires inside, you could fit some walkways in there for a survival build. 